It's actually the first time we ever performed this song in, on a stage together. Um, so that was really special tonight, yeah. Yeah, about time. Mm -hmm. This is the song that we wrote together almost two years ago now, celebrating the life of Berta Caceres, who was a, a, a Honduran uh, human rights activist and fighter for indigenous rights. And you came back with like, um, with the start of the verse, and we were kind of like, we, we, we kind of, took the little clay and we shaped it and, and Damien brought out the guitar and and then you went off and you came up with the melody, the sort of the Yeah. <laughs> you you kinda had that like pretty early, I remember. But we took I think those ideas came really quickly. To the room the one you made We were oh, literally <laughs> five days until our yeah. birthday, yeah. and we did it. We didn't do yeah. anything else actually for those very, five days. Yeah. We met up every single day, and we're recording the whole time. Actually, writing and had the studio recorded, and then we got a bunch of friends together to help out actually finish yeah, the recording. Yeah, it was very last minute, and then somebody to film it, it, and somebody to yeah. yeah, and then the artwork and get it out I on time. Know, so, yeah, right. no, it was, we it was, were like a little factory. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't stop. Yeah. yeah. I can see that you're still around your seed that fell to the ground and grew in and then it grew out and out I think it's, it's extremely hard to write about somebody else their That's story, a, and especially yeah. somebody who's not here anymore, and somebody that you don't really know, you've just heard mm -hmm. a, ver a version of the story, you know, so not knowing what exactly we read was true and not true, you don't get into too many details, and you don't all, you know, it's like, uh, how, how, do you, how do you write about somebody? And so I think that probably the part, yeah, the part that we kind of like, uh, fell into was just the comfort part was just like at the beginning it's just abstract yeah. poetry mm -hmm. not saying anything but talking about the images and this and all the all the, the, the things that birth is surrounded by and then really just that essence of like her, her, her the, the, them taking her down but her seed like we said just spreading and The story is just one story mm -hmm. from so many, yeah. but um, through through <clears throat> the music and through creating um, a space to you know to be able to take it in and to accept it and yeah, yeah and sometimes you shy away from the pain mm -hmm. and sometimes as a, as a as a audience might you yeah. know people just in general might not know or might not even seek out reading mm -hmm. about stuff that is painful mm -hmm. so. Creating something that is strong and something that is also has beauty in it. Mm -hmm. um, it maybe you're helps you to grieve too, like because mm -hmm. even if it's not something that you know or is you have a direct connection to it, like we're empathetic beings. I think naturally mm -hmm. we have that in us as humans, <coughs> and to be allowed to grieve these spaces and to also, I think in that in itself is also creating healing to what's happening, mm -hmm. and then and then the connection comes, doesn't it? And we put that in the song also. Mm -hmm. We did not go into the darkness of what actually happened. We just tried to shine a light on the person that was um, yeah. the, the actual uh, hero and the activist and the, and the fighter, you know, representing all the other people. We didn't, we didn't specifically go into details about any of the horror that happened. Now the shore, now the Is a human rights uh, land defender <laughs> actually for human rights as well and she actually worked with Berta and they were in Bali together for a conference um, only like three months before Berta was murdered 
and I remember hearing about it and was really, really shocked and really moved by, by the story. And um, yeah, I'm just, I, I feel like with all of us, we have a, um, and I think a lot of people in the world care about this, you know, and it's about finding our personal connections to it. And I think I feel lucky to have had that in such close proximity with my parents, both activists, environmentalists, um, but I think there are so many different ways to have that kind of personal connection. Um, and to, as soon as you learn about it, I feel like it's very human to care. Mm. I mean, artists have platforms. And, um, and anyone who has a platform um, has the, yeah, has a certain responsibility. And I think it's a, it's a powerful thing to do, to, to be able to use it for other things than just, you know, bringing beauty into the world, you can also try to bring uh, a little fragment of peace or a little thought or a little idea that can, that can spread. What can we say to the past, to the pain, to the pulse of the thought, to the blood, to the rage? The, the essence of the song was uh, noticing that they tried to silence Berta, mm -hmm. but uh, when they killed her, is she actually, became, her voice in a sense became louder and louder because people uh, rose up against it so much and, mm -hmm. and people heard the story and even people like us hearing the story, we want to share it, we want to, you know. So. This is, the song is supposed to inspire everybody to, to be like this, to be authentic and to be, uh, fight for what's right. So give it up for Bertha Caceres. Mm -hmm. <laughs>